Dane Stockwell plays an occultist, hell-bent on opening the gateway between our world and the realm of the Old Ones. All he needs is the Necronomicon and a beautiful woman to sacrifice. Lucky for him, both are available at the library the next town over. Ah, Cosmic Horror, the bizarre domain of H.P. Lovecraft. And the Dunwich Horror is loosely based on his story of the same name. And strangely enough, the movie feels like it was based on a very short story because there's barely enough substance here to fill a 60-minute movie, let alone a 90-minute movie. On the positive side of things, the Dunwich Horror features a wonderfully oddball performance from Dean Stockwell as Wilbur Wheatley. He does a lot of eye acting in this movie, meaning that the expression on his face rarely changes. It's his eyes that do all the work. For instance... The Necronomicon. It's one of a kind. An ancient book of evil. In fact, I didn't mind that the movie spins quite a lot of time chasing its own tail because of Dean Stockwell's performance and his hypnotic eyes. He also speaks in this very even, flat tone. His voice never rises above a certain decibel unless he's performing an invocation to the old ones, that is. And when you combine that monotone with his piercing eyes, you can totally understand why Sandra D is so taken with him. And there's the mustache. And oh, what a mustache. Stockwell has one of the most neatly trimmed mustaches I've ever seen here. I was also quite amused by the idiosyncrasies of the various rituals used to call upon the old ones. For instance, Stockwell's use of his hands over a goblet, or how he twirls a knife around for no reason, because I guess it just looks cool. And don't try this at home. It seems like they put forth a lot of effort to make these rituals seem authentic. It comes off a little corny, though, but in a good way. The lovely Sandra D plays the would-be vessel for the Old One's return. D and Stockwell actually have chemistry, which helps during the slower, more repetitive moments. And now this may only be a plus for some and not others, but the Dunwich Horror is so 70s. I could feel my hair feathering out, the legs of my jeans blooming into bell bottoms, and faintly, off in the distance, I could hear the hellish intonations of disco music. On the downside, yeah, the Dunwich Horror is a bit slow. It's repetitive, and I spent a lot of the movie just wishing that they would get to the frickin' point. You know, for someone so determined to see the return of the old ones and the complete annihilation of mankind, including himself, hmm, I don't think Wheatley thought this through. Anyway, he's taking his sweet time about getting the job done. The characters are all pretty one-dimensional, and aside from Stockwell, not all that interesting. Considering the chemistry that Stockwell and Dee have, I wish the story would have gone deeper with their relationship. Maybe have Wheatley develop actual feelings for her, and become torn about the whole freeing the old ones and destroying mankind thing. The Dunwich Horror is a well-made movie. The score is pretty good, there's plenty of atmosphere, and Stockwell and Dee deliver strong performances. I just wish there was a little more here to sink your teeth into. It's a movie that's not going to be for everyone. As much as I liked about it, I think there's just as much that I disliked about it. So it's a middle-of-the-road meh for me. If you're a big fan of Lovecraft, then I would say check it out, although you've probably already seen the movie. Otherwise, I'd say pass. If you are a fan of the Dunwich Horror, then this new Blu-ray release from Arrow Video is a must. As far as picture quality and sound quality are concerned, the movie both looked and sounded exquisite on this release. This release features a 2K restoration of the film's original 35mm camera negative. The picture quality here is beautiful. Colors pop, there's a nice level of detail, and the overall image is quite sharp. 
There is the occasional fluctuation in grain level, and the color timing is sometimes a little bit wonky, but both of those occurrences usually accompany the movie's old school special effects. This release features a DTS HD Master Audio mono track that sounded crystal clear during the dialogue, and full bodied and boomy when it comes to the score and the sound effects. This release comes with a slip. The sleeve is reversible. On one side, we have the new artwork for the film, and on the reverse, we have the original poster art for the Dunwich Horror. And we get a booklet featuring essays by author Jack Sargent and editor Johnny Maines. As far as extras are concerned, first up we have The Door into Dunwich, in which cartoonist and film historian Stephen R. Bissett and horror author Stephen Lowe's discuss their mutual admiration for the works of Lovecraft, the Dunwich Horror, and much more. It's two hours... 10 minutes and 13 seconds in length. Next, we have After Summer, After Winter, in which sci fi and fantasy writer Ruth Anna Emrys talks about Dunwich, uh, the Cthulhu mythos, and her own connections to the writings of H.P. Lovecraft. It's 16 minutes and 21 seconds in length. Next, we have The Sound of Cosmic Terror, in which film and music historian David Huckvale. Uh, takes a close look at Les Baxter's score for the Dunwich Horror. It's 32 minutes and 6 seconds in length. We get a theatrical trailer, an image gallery, and an audio commentary with Guy Adams and A.K. Benedict. This is a very nice release for the Dunwich Horror from the fine folks over at Arrow Video. Again, if you're a fan of the Dunwich Horror, this release definitely needs to be in your collection. If you've seen the Dunwich Horror, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what your favorite HP Lovecraft story or film adaptation is. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.